Welcome to Creating a Self-Love Lifestyle. Um, I'm Marcy Newman, as you know, your Heart Shift Coach. And today we're going to be talking about something really interesting. We're going to be talking about the difference between self-love and self-betrayal. Now you might say, Marcy, why do we even have to talk about that? It would seem like that's pretty obvious. And I think I already know what the differences are. Well, the reason I'm telling you is because there have been a number of occasions very recently where these two issues have been the source of great confusion for people. So I want to address this now. So let's start out by just reviewing what self-love is. You know, I always need to do this. So again, we look at self-care, which often is what people confuse as self-love. Self-care is all the things that you do that comfort you. They soothe you. They take care of you. They help you feel better. They are things that you look to to help you maybe to find a greater sense of connection or um, uh, comfort, as I said. These are things that are very much familiar to you. They feel good to you. Self-love, on the other hand, takes you out of your comfort zone. And I'll keep saying this over and over and over again. That's how you know that self-love is calling to you. Because it will make you hot under the collar. It will take you out of your comfort zone to the point where you may avoid doing it. And this is why people do avoid cultivating the courage to actually create a self-love lifestyle because it's not for the faint of heart. Self-love is, is work because you must be able to discern that comfort zone and be able to walk through it to the other side of it without fearing for your life. What most people actually fear is that they somehow won't be acceptable if they do that. And the truth is, you're right. You're right. You will have to give up something in order to create this self-love lifestyle. What do you need to give up? Well, it depends on what you have determined is important in your life important enough where you have contorted yourself to be there or to do that. And I say contorted yourself because that's something that's very familiar to you. What you may not realize is that if you are contorting yourself to remain in a situation, a relationship, a job, whatever it is, you're actually betraying yourself. And so this is where this correlation comes from. So there is always this gap between where you are and where you want to be. Now you might be saying, Marcy, if you know this is such a challenge, such a difficult thing for me to do, why do I want it? Well, here it is, plain and simple. You see, self-love is this energy field that we might as well call your field of dreams. It's where everything that your heart is yearning for is waiting for you. In this field of dreams is the fulfillment. It is that high-level love that's based on mutual respect honor, being cherished, and of course, being a full expression of who you truly are. In other words, that's where being loved for who you are exists. 
What else exists there? Well, your prosperity, your abundance, your joy, your peace, your creativity. And most of all, you may recognize this or not recognize it if you haven't experienced it much. It's where your freedom lies. That's right. It's where your freedom lies. And so self-love and being able to tap in, tune into that energy is crucial for your happiness, for you to be in this world and feel like you belong. Because when you're outside of those things, you may tend to feel like you're separate from life, that you don't belong here. And there's nothing further from the truth. But the issue is, because you know innately that you have to step out of the illusion that you have created, very often you submit to self-betrayal and don't even reach for what is there in the frequency of self-love. So self-love is this high vibrational frequency. It's what I just described as holding your field of dreams, literally. Self-care are the things that you do to soothe you. So this self-betrayal, you can see, is a major issue. So self-betrayal can do one of two things. It can either totally sabotage you so that you remain in misery and separation, or it can act as a catalyst when you move through your fear to the other side and start to align with the path that will take you to self-love. So I want to talk about this because I want you to start to bring your attention to that gap, that gap between where you are and where you want to be. And I want you to start to pay attention to all the times that you betray yourself. I can guarantee you it's plenty because unless you are 100% authentic, that you're speaking your mind, you're standing up for yourself, you're showing up for yourself, you're willing to let go of relationships and opportunities, experiences that um, are not in alignment with what it is that you really want to be and do, and experience, if you're willing to let go of all of that, then the path to the heart will open wide up for you. But what does it also tell us? It tells us that self-sabotage, that is coming directly from this betrayal of self, self-betrayal, is not of the heart because the heart would never betray you. So what does that mean? It means it's telling us it's coming from the head. It's coming from the ego, the realm of the ego that does not want you doing that journey, right? And successfully doing that journey so that you can align with who you truly are, because then it loses all control over you. So I want you to just start to keep this in mind. We, we're, we need to take a good look at this as time goes on. But it starts with your awareness. It starts with you recognizing when you are betraying yourself, particularly when you're reaching for something that's aligned with self-love. So I'm going to leave that with you. I'm going to invite you to start to practice, 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 and practice your awareness. Practice really honing in there. 
And of course, I'm going to leave you with an affirmation. And this affirmation, I invite you to repeat to yourself out loud at least twice a day. And the affirmation for today is, I am more than enough to open the path of my heart and dwell in self-love and the life it will create. Again, this is your field of dreams. There is nothing more worthwhile for you to put your focus and attention on than opening your heart. So, I'd love to hear from you. Please leave your comments below. Let me know how this goes for you. Let me know how I can support you. And we'll be talking more about this, of course, at the workshop at the end of the month. So, um, yeah, take notes. Leave your comments. Let us know how it's going for you. We're all in this together. And together, we will rise. So have a great day. And I'll see you next week. And until then, keep working at creating your own self-love lifestyle. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye now.